first. It's a very big, warm, loose welcome <laughs> to Beverly Knight. Do you think you're loose enough for us, Beverly? No, I reckon I am. I, I reckon am. you are. Yeah, I think, I think, I think so. Might. Can you party like Denise Welsh? Yep. Can you cook like Linda Bellingham? Uh-huh. Can you flirt like Colleen Nola? Definitely. Can you drink like <laughs> Carol McGivin? Tea, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what can you eat pies as good as I can? Um, I'll give it a go. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank Thank you. You. We're loving that. We're loving I it. I think you'll be just fine. You'll be just fine. Now, at the weekend, uh, Simon Cowell apparently treated his reportedly new girlfriend to a Valentine's banquet of lobster and black cod. Meanwhile, Nigel Page and Justine Laycock have celebrated their £56 million windfall in the Euro Millions draw with a bacon butty at their local oh. supermarket. Oh. They need to be careful with their cash, you see. <laughs> um, but what foods get us in the mood for celebrating? You, you like a pie, don't you, Oh, Jane? I love a pie. But if I'm... Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, yes. But that's every day for me, you see. Okay. And every day is a pie. But if it's something special, it's not in my house. I'm outside celebrating because ah. I don't want to cook and get, you know, all that because I don't cook very well. Anything in particular? Uh, I love a good steak. I like a good mm. bit of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking, this lot. Shocking. <laughs> I like a good bit of meat, well cut, know where it's from. I've got a fantastic... <laughs> I've got a very good farm shop up where I am, you see, so I just go in there, say to my butcher, listen, show us a nice piece show of meat. meat. Yeah. <laughs> Lobster. Oh, you know, lobster. Like see, gave his I was on ships. I used to sing on cruise ships. I don't know if anybody knows that. I used to be, <laughs> used to be a singer on a cruise ship. So I had lobster twice a week. And, and I just remember a chef saying to me, Scavengers of the sea. You know, they eat all the rubbish off the bottom. So I just thought, oh, I don't think I'm putting oh, that in my mouth. Don't anymore. spoil it. <laughs> no, what, what about you, Beverly? What do for you like? Well, um, when it comes to celebrations, it's got to be West Indian for me all day long. That's what I'm, that's the only thing I know how to do, to be honest, when I'm cooking, you know, that's, that's my, my speciality. Like, like what? what do you cook? What do you cook? Well, um, jerk chicken and rice and peas, which um, I nearly killed my band with. It actually was too hot and they were okay. all moaning about it, but I love that. Um, and things like, you know, um, oxtail and butter beans and, and little patties. and I love it all. Did, you, did yeah. you celebrate at the weekend? Did you cook a nice romantic meal at the um, weekend? Well, I didn't actually have to cook at all. My lovely boyfriend James uh, went in the kitchen and uh, cooked us some nice sea bass and uh, green beans, curly kale and... That was fantastic. Aww. He used to be a chef, so... Oh, I was going to say, yeah. it's, it's not from round our end, then, if he's... <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Oh, he's taught lovely. me a, a, few a few things, things. but not West Indian. That's mm. my domain. Well, Steve did the Thank same you. sort of thing. There must have been a sort of seafood link there, because I know yeah. a couple of men cook for their ladies over, you know, Valentine's, and he, he cooked me... Well, he didn't cook me, because, well, I suppose he can cook it, but it tastes better raw. Oysters. Oh. We went... Uh, we've got this fantastic fishmongers in our, in our village, and he went down there and he got some oysters. It was all a surprise. I was in the pub with some friends. Brilliant! Uh, Got calls to say dinner's ready. Uh, Wobbled home. Um, and then... <laughs> it's fab. Gonna do that next year. Um, and then, uh, then what do we have? Oh, prawns. Tempura prawns. Mm, okay. But the best bit wasn't the foodie bit. He bought these, you know, these um, Chinese lanterns and you write a romantic message, you can send it up into the sky. And I, and my, it, was, it was really sweet. No, wait. So mine went up, ooh, off into the sky. Make a wish. Ours, his went up, up, up into the neighbour's tree. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so to our neighbours, <laughs> looking out and there's a load of red tissue, that was us. Awesome. Sorry. Oh. It should disintegrate well, soon. I have to say, oh, oysters, I'm not good with them. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, I can't bear them, it's like having a cold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and with you there, though. Oh, and with you there. So yeah, with you. Yeah. It's vile. Yeah. Honestly, they're never going to get me in the mood for anything. Well, you just have to <laughs> swallow it, don't you? Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, I don't do that. Um, oh, I so, quite like it. I don't, I don't, like, them. Sauce. I don't mm. like them, and I've never heard of that black cod. Something is that black not cod, just yeah, fish? Yeah, Japanese speciality, fabulous. Now, mm. what did you have for Valentine's? We had Big Mac and chips. <laughs> 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 well, speaking of chips, uh, also making the headlines is the news that chips can cheer us up. Yes, the old seaside favourites apparently are sure far away to make us feel cheerful. Now, this could be down to the carb overload, or it could be because the taste and smell reminds us of happier times, such as childhood holidays and that sort of thing. Did, did, it, did it lift your mood, having some chips? Oh, fish and chips does. It brings me way... Because I grew up in Blackpool, seaside yeah. town, and every Friday was fish and chip night, and I loved it in the paper, you know, just I never wanted to fall.
fork. You always have to eat it. Fish, chips, mushy peas and gravy. Oh, oh lovely. You know. Do you want to pick mushy peas up with oh, your feet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you leave them to the end, you dip your chips in. You scoop oh. them up your chips, your bit of fish. That's it. But, you know, I'm now obviously married to a Yorkshireman who every time we get fish and chips, he goes, well, they'll never compare to Yorkshire fish and chips. You know, so it's a real He's battle. wrong, because they don't compare to Glasgow fish and chips, because oh, they are, of course, the best. fish and chips. Oh, fish and chips. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, oh, they taste very different from where you come from. Oh, Do you like I, fish and chips? I, I, I love fish and chips, but um, my James can't stand fish and chips. Oh. He's crazy. That's not right. Yeah, he's... he's How long have you been clearly. with him? Been with him just under three years. Well, it's time to get rid... <laughs> 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 Forget he can cook. Oh, he can he cook. He can cook. He can cook. But he yeah. don't like fish and chips. What, like fish and no, chips. No. what do you what do you call you know a, a bag of chips from where where you're from? from well, you'd from have a, like a, a cob. Cob, cob of chips, a cob. yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you have your cob and your bread, chips yeah. in there? And yeah. yeah, exactly. So you're from the oh, Midlands. Yeah. You call chips. it a cob. What, what do they call it in Yorkshire? A bag of chips with scraps on. <laughs> Love them. Scraps. You see, also, yeah, you see, it is true in Yorkshire. Your Raymondo's right, you see, because yeah. in Yorkshire, the, the, they cook them in beef dripping. That's why they taste so good. Oh. It's absolutely stunning. And do you call them bread cakes? Uh, he always goes, fish chips and get me a bread cake. That's right, bread cake, yeah. It's a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that. I'll it's tell a bread you what roll. Does, well, does, you know. What does cheer me, though, is a really good pork pie. A really good pork <laughs> pie. <laughs> Back to, meat back, to, yeah, back to meat back to and meat. Pies. <laughs> really good pot pie puts me in a good mood. Nice bit of pickle onion or a bit oh, of brown sauce. I bet you smell side. lovely. I do. <laughs> Better than fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> okay, time for a